Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 8 of my segmented blind run of Fulcan No Grassista, trial version. Uh, boss fight, boss fight, boss fight! Alright, so it's not that important. But it's a test of and symbol of the progress we've made so far. And then again, can it really be called progress when we're doing the only two things we've been specifically warned not to do? That is, try to escape and head up into this valley. What we're doing is so incredibly stupid. But then, stupidity is the only option. Let's see what we've gotten ourselves into. Well, looks like somebody had a party. Oh. Hmm. As we continue down the valley floor, the further we go, the number of bodies increases. Oh, that's not ominous at all. But that always seems to be hidden away in the shadow of things. Off on the edges of stuff. It's just an unnatural way of the way they're piled up. There do seem to be a lot of these. Well, as I've heard, this place is a hell of a place to be battling monsters in. But it's kind of fresh to see these kind of corpses, like, not disordered and stuff. Back in the poor town, dealing with dead bodies is, you know, common knowledge. No matter what you do to them, they don't resist. Heh, <laughs> well, that's a way, easy way of earning money. What, moving corpses? Well, I know. Oh, I bet he was talking about graves. I am. Grave robbing. Well, if there's something here that could be used to get money, I guess I'll briefly pick it up. Ooh! Something, uh, what? No, I, I can't fight a boss now, I'm not ready. So, I extended my, ten my hand in order to do some grave robbing, and out of the mountain of corpses, a light black skin thing, monster, swings a claw at me. Ew. This could be dangerous. So, this guy's glaring at me like, I'm not going to let you get away. Are you a demon? This is my first time seeing one. Furthermore, it's a bit bigger than I expected. Pretty much bigger. Well, you know, when it looks at it, it would be pretty fair. Afraid. And he's got sharp fangs and claws. You know, the better to kill you with. This is clearly the thing that's been killing all this all these people okay so this is a cutscene and I don't have to fight it right perhaps because I received an attack hmm perhaps because I he attacked me 
or perhaps because I was thinking it was a demon, my hand holding my weapon shaked just a little. <laughs> this country is interesting. Here, this close, a demon. <laughs> For a demon to be this close. So as my body shakes, I also get excited about the coming battle. So, staring at this demon piling out of the mountain of bones, I don't look, I don't let my guard down and try to figure out what he wants. Ah, I see. I'm the one who draw you out, huh? No, oh, you drew me in with this. That's why you made this mountain of corpses. Yeah, that's pretty creepy, demon guy. So, even the human bones as well as the monster corpses is essentially fresh meat for this guy. Is essentially bait to be luring in fresh meat. Yeah. And people come in to loot the, the valley. He gets uh, his piece of. Because people who would think they get through here easy would let their guards down. It's a good plan. But you got bad luck this time. Since you laid your eyes on me, sorry, but you're going to get hunted this time. Ah, seems like I've had those shackles on all that long time. Huh. I better confirm whether my my strength has gotten any duller. duller. So. This should be pretty good. This weapon is rusted out, and the cutting edge is bad, but, well, just gonna make you hurt a little more then. In any case, you're dead. You just wait for it. To think I would meet a demon here. But in order to test out my arms, this is a good opponent. Sorry, but you're dying here. Okay, let's look at these guys. Oh, jeez. Okay. No, I don't want to use it yet. I'll stock it. Hmm. Shut up, Jedal, I'm thinking. Looks like... If I take an attack, they're going to get their attacks. Well, I don't want to die again, so... Sora. Okay. His one fist did a power-up, so I'm going to... Defend. See if this doesn't help. Yeah. That wasn't bad, I guess. 
Ouch. Ouch. I'm glad I defended. Typically you see that. Okay, it only subtracts three damage in the past, so that might have been a waste. Ouch. And here I was just thinking, at least this guy doesn't dodge much. Oh, okay. I've got good defense. Oh. I can't fight the back ones until I defeat the front one. See? Except by use of these items. Ouch! Now we're getting somewhere. You know, I think I'm gonna look at this guy's name anyway. Oh, it isn't a demon. Demon. Demonus bit of it. Oh, whatever. Alright, I think I've got this in the bag, even though I had to use like two items. Did I use two healing items or just one? <laughs> Magic defense, that's going to be valuable. It's always hard to get a a melee character to get much magic defense. Uh, that looks... okay, I don't know what that is. Alright, defeating the demon that attacked me. Looking at the, uh, this high pressure battle area with stuff falling on it, I feel uh, something out of place. Something strange here. Uh, one, the background changed. Two, that floating tower is gone. Uh, perhaps because I was concentrating on the battle, I didn't notice when the the uh, the circumstances in the vicinity changed. And for some reason, the fog's gotten thick. What is this? It's not that the sun has gone down. For some reason, this valley is uh, just automatically wrapped in, wrapping itself in darkness. So my field of vision is decreasing, and my body is crawling. It's a very evil cold, I'm feeling. Is this reality? These black shadows and are swallowing up the valley. It's 
stuff that isn't in a shadow is swallowed up by something even uh, darker than shadows. Kind of like in incomprehensible phenomenon. So for whatever reason, my body's shaking. And from the mist, my the air temperature has dropped and it's feeling real cold. I've got a bad feeling about this. And putting that feeling into reality, the the scene of the valley floor starts to warp. As the time passes, the mist grows even thicker, and these shining balls of something start appearing. Are these ice crystals? Hmm. They weren't here before, that's for sure. Thinking it unbelievable, picking up one that happened to fall. My body's attacked with something that's trying to pull me out. I get dizzy and along with that, get some nausea. Ugh. Nothing to do about it. There's nothing I could do about it, and my body is swallowed up by the shadow that's consuming the valley floor. Game over, bad end. How did you fuck up, you moron? And I come to my say, and says, and I'm standing in a mysterious place. Without a doubt, this place is not where I was before, the Valley of Scattered Feed. And, well, that's good. But let's consider what's going on here. Where am I? And more than that, actually, where this strong impressioned odd existence next to me. Hmm. Oh, crap. Yeah, that does seem a bit more important than where exactly I am. Let's see. Come on. Um. Is this some giant evil darkness dragon or something? I'd kind of like to see what it is in scale with uh, Jedal because, I mean, is this huge or is it, you know, just kind of really grotesque and more or less human sized? Anyway. Whatever the hell this spectacle is, it just surpasses my understanding of it. It's excessively over overwhelming. So this giant, no, oh, it really is giant, huh? This giant, bizarrely shaped monster it's kind of say it's saying that it eats the things that Jadal just eat
I don't see how he could understand that, but I guess that's his impression, and I'm going to accept it. So, there's no way I could resist. Oh, it's actually heating it. And it can't resist. Oh, whatever. So, that demon, they use corpses as bait to bring in humans for feeding. Thanks to the battle that it just fought with me, it now gets to be nutrition for something even worse. Uh, it's the food chain. Yeah, it doesn't like... You don't like being... Le you don't like being a step below the top. Uh, especially when the step is needs to be taken right now. So, here in this place, the strongest one is whatever that is. Oh. It would be that woman who's got that giant beast under control. So it's obeying her. That means she's pretty big too, right? I always thought she'd be human size. So she's petting this demon-eating beast. So clearly she's the one who rules this uh, this place. Clearly. Up until just now, she clearly wasn't here. If such a powerful presence were here, I certainly would have noticed. I don't think you just appeared all of a sudden. Perhaps you're the one who drew me in? Is she the one who draw us in? Hmm. Still, can't comprehend what's going on here. And... Janelle actually... quietly... hides in the shadow of something. And... can't believe his eyes. Okay, there, there, good boy. If anything comes along, you can take care of them. Okay. Is this the face of the thing we beat? And there's an arm. And the wing, maybe? So it's not really that much bigger. Well, I'd say two times, three times as massive. And yeah, she is normal sized. Human sized. So she's kindly petting this brutal beast. And she whispers these with this sweet expression. So, this time we were able to build up a little more pressure. Maybe soon I'll be able to go to the town. She's got a nice voice, but you know, the kind that would that could uh, mislead her mislead you about her nature. But she also has that uh, pale body. 
<laughs> no, seriously though, the voice is nice. So this isn't something that happens in the realms of light, certainly. Clearly, someplace where we're still trying to suppress the demon clans. And still now, the demon clans are fighting to get out. That's right, this is one of the rumored demon clans. Or at least a survivor of them. And just by the bizarre, uh, extreme mood that her body gives off. So, let's go. Okay, so let's go. If we continue along like this, we should, we have to have a way to get into the town. And if we go up that way, we'll be able to break everything to our heart's content. So, with her saying that... The air around us reverberates. And, at some point, in the vicinity of that, many demons started attaching and following her. Seeing this, she gives a contented smile. So, why did these guys appear all of a sudden in this valley? I don't know, but... I do understand that if I, it's going to get really, really bad like this. If this kind of demon, uh, demon clan member managed to attack Grasesta, who makes you, uh, get you nervous, kind of swallow your throat, make you gulp in, uh, horror. But that small sound was a fatal mistake. So, kind of like she felt her, she felt her way to the void with those ash-colored eyes. And she suddenly looks right over this way. Oh, there's a human here. But we should still be pretty far from town. I've been noticed. Good job. My heart's all pounding. And my breath has unconsciously gotten. Uh, violent. Oh, maybe you found out that I'm doing this. I anticipated that this wouldn't be a problem, but this is interesting. Well, it's alright. Either way, everything will be gone. 
それじゃあみんな目についたやつらは全部殺して進むよ So then everyone Everybody you see you can kill them and proceed So with that smile filled with crazy Some something cold starts running In the next instant, instant, my legs were moving on their own. Even just a little, I need to get away from here. Get away from this devil clanus. I can't understand it with my head, but I need to get away. <laughs> Hmm. For the Mao, offer up a bunch of sacrifices, humans, as sacrifice. Eh? Okay, this valley is really messed up. All of a sudden, the boss loses some significance. Yeah, watching a hell beast consuming a powerful foe does that. And the questions! Boy, do we have questions. What is that thing? Who is that demon girl? What in the hell is going on here? And probably most important to Jadal, how the fuck is he going to get out of here alive? <laughs>